On the sixth day of creation, God formed man from the dust of the earth. He breathed the breath of life into his nostrils and the man became a living person. God planted a garden in Eden and placed the man there. God ordered beautiful trees and trees that bear fruit to grow up from the ground. In the middle of the garden, he placed the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. He gave instructions to the man to tend to and watch over the garden. God told the man, you may freely eat the fruit of every tree in the garden, except the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. If you eat the fruit of this tree, you will surely die. Then God said, it is not good for man to be alone. I will make a helper who is just right for him. God brought all the animals to the man to be named by the man. The man gave names to all the animals, but still there was no helper just right for him. So God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep. While he slept, God took out one of the man's ribs and closed up the opening. Then he made a woman from the rib and he brought her to the man. At last, the man exclaimed, this one is bone from my bone and flesh from my flesh. She will be called woman because she was taken from man. This explains why a man leaves his father and mother and is joined to his wife and the two are united into one. Now the man and his wife were both naked but they felt no shame. One day, the serpent, the most clever of all the wild animals, asked the woman, did God really say you must not eat the fruit from any of the trees in the garden? Of course we may, the woman replied. It's only the fruit from the tree in the middle of the garden that we are not allowed to eat. God said, you must not eat it or even touch it. If you do, you will die. You will not die, the serpent exclaimed. God knows that your eyes will be opened as soon as you eat it, and you will be like God, knowing both good and evil. When the serpent was done speaking, the woman did eat the forbidden fruit and shared it with her husband. At that moment, their eyes were opened. They felt shame by their nakedness, so they sewed fig leaves together to cover themselves. That evening they heard God walking about in the garden, so they hid. God called to the man, Where are you? The man replied, I hid from you because I was naked. Who told you that you were naked? God asked. Have you eaten from the tree whose fruit I commanded you not to eat? The man replied, The woman gave it to me. Then God asked the woman, what have you done? The serpent tricked me, she replied. Then God said to the serpent, because you have done this, you are cursed more than all animals. You will crawl on your belly as long as you live. I will put hatred and division between you and the woman. He will crush your head and you will bruise his heel. God then said to the woman, I will sharpen the pain of childbirth and your husband will rule over you. To the man he said, since you listened to your wife and ate from the tree, the ground is cursed because of you. All of your life you will work hard to grow your own food until you die. You were made from dust and you will return to dust. Adam then named his wife Eve and God made clothing from animal skins to cover their nakedness. God banished them from the Garden of Eden and he sent Adam out to cultivate the ground from which he had been made.